There's some questions and answers that a lot of people have questions and very simple answers to, so we're going to run through some of them now. The first question, really it's more of a concern. A lot of people say, you know what, I get hypoglycemia when I don't eat. I can't do a periodic fasting or an intermittent fasting. The, the answer to this one is that true hypoglycemia is rare in people, especially people without diabetes. If you can go eight hours during sleep without hypoglycemic symptoms, you don't have hypoglycemia. As you get used to fasting, this hypoglycemia type symptom should disappear. Another question a lot of people have is, I get headaches when I don't eat. I get irritable when I don't eat. I can't do this, can I? The headaches and the irritability are all part of your withdrawal symptoms. This is common when you are changing a habit or an addiction. And rest assured, the way that you're eating now is probably a habit or an addiction if you're getting symptoms when you stop. Slowly increase your fasting time. Start with a 10 hour fast, then a 10 and a half hour fast the next day, and keep increasing one half hour to one hour every day until you can tolerate the 17 hours of fasting or more. Another question is, what about binging during my fed time? This is very common during the first several weeks. Don't worry about it. After a few weeks, as long as your weight is falling and you're bringing healthy foods in as you're binging on healthy foods, don't worry about it. If you're not binging on healthy foods, if you're binging on cakes and cookies and sweets, that's not a very good, uh, a very good thing. And you should always consult with your physician if you are binging. Another question is, can I have a small bite of food during the fasting time? Just a little bit. If it contains calories, our answer is no. It will cause an insulin release and change the fat cell activity back to storage for the next 12 hours. Your weight should trend from week to week, not day to day. You will not lose muscle if you avoid multi-day fasting. With regular exercise, your muscle will be preserved. Even without regular exercise, there will be no more than 5% loss of muscle as long as you're not fasting for more than 24 to 36 hours. Once you're uh, adopted to our program, our intermittent fasting routine, you can expect to lose a minimum of one pound per week. Many people lose five to seven pounds the first week. But even at one pound per week, it's going to yield a 52 pound weight loss in a year if you have that much to lose. You can also expect to be no more hungry and possibly less hungry than what you experienced before mealtimes now. And you will be able to pass up food and decline offers of food throughout the day no matter how tempting they are. You'll also discover that you'll realize, face, and resist the substantial social pressures built into our cultures and customs that push you to eat based on a schedule rather than on hunger and on appetite.